shock index is the ratio of heart rate to systolic blood pressure which allows rapid bedside risk stratification. Modified shock index is the ratio of heart rate to mean arterial pressure. Shock index is a simple bedside measure introduced by Al Gore and Associates as early as 1967. Normal range of shock index is between 0.5 and 0.7 in healthy adults. Shock index of 1 or more indicates poor prognosis in acute circulatory failure. Rain Stadler and Associates use these indices to predict the myocardial damage and clinical outcome of ST elevation myocardial infarction. They found that STEMI patients with elevated shock index had more severe myocardial and microvascular damage and it was associated with major adverse cardiac events at one year. This multi-center study analyzed 791 patients dichotomized to an admission shock index of less than 0.62 or more. 40% of their patients had a shock index above 0.62 and they had significantly larger area of myocardium at risk, larger infarct size and larger extent of microvascular obstruction. Cardiac magnetic resonance imaging was used to assess the infarct size and microvascular obstruction. They noted a worse thrombolysis in myocardial infarction flow before and after primary coronary intervention in those with shock index of 0.62 or more. It may be noted that others have used a shock index cutoff value of 0.7 while this study used 0.62. The current study authors noted similar results on a secondary analysis using cutoff of 0.7 also. Similarly, they noted no difference in the predictive value between shock index and modified shock index. But other authors have found modified shock index to be more accurate than shock index. In that study, shock index cutoff of 0.7 and modified shock index cutoff of 1.4 were used. They noted that odds ratio of increased modified shock index for all cause mortality, cardiogenic shock, life threatening arrhythmias, and maze were higher than those of increased shock index. The study had used shock index at presentation to the emergency department and studied the 7-day outcomes for STEMI in 160 patients. First set of references on shock index. Second set of references on shock index.